the kidnapping. Good evening, Leviathan. We are joined. Recording in progress. We're coming off of a victory. Uh, we will begin with Andres from Prensa Esports. Uh, hi, good evening. My question goes for Itopata. Remember stage one? We had a Leviathan that couldn't get up from match where they started losing and didn't give their 100%. Now everything is different. You come back in maps where you have a score of 4-8. You win over things without problems. What have you changed compared to stage one to be the monster that you are now? I think it's mostly confidence. I think everyone just trusts in the structure and in the team a lot more. So even when we're down... Uh, what we said in the halftime of Lotus is just trust each other, guys. You don't need to you don't need to overcompensate. You just need to do your job and trust that everyone else is gonna do their job and then we're gonna win. So I think this is like our mindset going into into every game and winning or losing doesn't matter. As long as we keep this structure, we we're always gonna win. Y una pregunta para Masino. ¿Qué sentimientos tienes encontrados? Después de ahora haber superado ese top 4 con Crew y ahora ser top 3 con Leviatán y pudiendo llegar aún más lejos. Eh, realmente es parecido porque estamos como en la misma etapa, etapa que fue con lo que pasó con Crew y obviamente como orgulloso de haber llegado ahí, pero todavía no termina y hay que seguir dándole, sí, es paso a paso. Muchas gracias, Sam. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, we have a question from the room next. Hello, I'm Via from Nerditude. My question is for Aspas. Uh, before today's match, Mini Boo said that he was going to jet diff you. Uh, now that the game ended and you won, do you have anything you want to comment back to him? No, I don't have like any comments. But uh, if someone like talks something like that, I usually just focus on myself and I tend to like not care about it and I just focus on doing my best. Thank you. Uh, Aspas, we have one more question for you coming from uh, Score. Um, you're going to play EDG in the upper bracket final. What do you think about that matchup? Uh, I'm really excited to play against them again. It's going to be my third time playing against them. First time was in Tokyo. Second time was in Champions last year. Uh, now it's going to be the third time. All the two games that I had against them was fun. And this one, I think it's going to be fun again. So I'm excited. Uh, just if you'll humor me for a second, you guys have been staying together probably for the last two weeks in the same hotel. Uh, do you guys ever cross paths uh, during your day to day? Yeah, I think I already saw everyone from every team. I'm almost sure. <laughs> EDG is on the same floor as us, and they're like across the hall. Their frac room is across the yeah, hall. That's well. Yeah. A any good stories from the last couple of weeks, or? Hmm. Everyone is dying outside the back rooms. From the <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, I have one. I have one. One day, and um, I left the back room. I don't know what was happening, but I saw someone from Fnatic. He had a chair outside of the back room, and he was just sitting on the chair. I don't know who was because uh, normally I need glasses to see from far, and I never use them. So I just saw someone sitting on the chair outside of the back room. <laughs> Oh, man. All right, we'll take the next question from uh, FD News Facundo. Hey, I'm in Namiria right now. <laughs> All right, thank you. Uh, thank you, Levitan, for your time, and congratulations for your win. I will ask, uh, I will ask you a question to King. I wanted to do it in Spanish. Uh, King, felicidades por la victoria. Un paso más, ¿no?, para eh, un nuevo logro para Latinoamérica lo que es el cambio de Station Champions eh, un nuevo top que... y sensaciones diferentes quería saber cómo te sentís al respecto eh, la verdad demasiado feliz eh, primero que todo orgull muy orgulloso de todo mi equipo eh, creo que todos hemos dado todo de nosotros para llegar a esta etapa así que de verdad muy contento de, de, de haber logrado estar en este top 3 eh, como dijo Masino eh, el, aún falta el, el trabajo no, no, no está listo y nada, vamos a seguir dando lo mejor de nosotros eh, y siempre agradecer a, a toda la, la comunidad latina que nos está dando apoyo independientemente de que comuniquemos en inglés créanme que la esencia no desaparece seguimos acá, seguimos representando a Chilito a toda Latinoamérica, así que eh, nada, de verdad muchas gracias por apoyarnos 
Muchas gracias y buena suerte. Dale que se puede. Gracias. Thank you. We'll take the next question from Antonio at Nerditude. Thank you so much. Hi, I'm Antonio Sommer from Nerditude, and my question is for, for King. King, como ya todos mencionaron, pues son top 3 eh, actualmente. Eh, pero ahora les toca también pues, eh, pelear contra EDG, otro equipo que también por primera vez llega pues, de su región, llega a top 3. ¿Cuál es la mentalidad? Que se, cómo, ¿Cómo se preparan ahora contra un equipo que tú mencionaste, se ve bien en Screams y que ha llegado muy fuerte hasta este punto? Eh, creo que simplemente ya es un punto donde eh, se analiza un poco, tenemos todo el tiempo del mundo la verdad para, para ver las cosas que están haciendo bien, eh, tal vez nosotros aún podemos fixar, eh, aunque sean pequeños detalles, eh, para venir de la mejor forma y, y nada, creo que los dos equipos venimos con muy buen momentum y se va a decir mucho no solo en la strat sino que también Eh, quienes van a estar disparando más fuerte ese día y nada, creo que va a ser un, un buen match, eh, la verdad Thank you so much and congratulations, guys. Thank you. We'll take the next question from Fernando at Game Arena Thank you very much. Hi guys, my name is Fernando from Game Arena Brazil. My question goes for Aspas. Aspinhas, primeiramente, parabéns pela vitória. Você se torna o primeiro e único jogador a chegar no top 3 de Champions pela terceira vez seguida e, consequentemente, né, três anos seguidos aí de Muita luta, muita vitória. É, você também é o jogador agora com mais kills na história do Champions novamente, com 937, quase chegando a mil. Quero saber, cara, você fala muito do seu individual, né, de como você treina, como você foca no seu individual. Como você consegue nesses grandes jogos né, chegar nessa, nessa fase tão importante do Champions e brilhar e conseguir liderar a sua equipe mais uma vitória e talvez, quem sabe, né, mais uma conquista de Champions na sua carreira? Uh, falando um pouco de mim, pessoalmente, uh, eu tenho uma rotina que eu sempre sigo durante os jogos, que eu não posso falar, obviamente, que é a minha rotina, mas eu sempre faço ela e eu sempre chego bem confiante na partida. E, além disso, ainda tem um fator que eu confio bastante no meu time. Então, eu sei que mesmo que eu não tenha um bom dia, eles vão estar ali comigo e vai dar tudo certo. Can I do another one? Go ahead. Uh, so this one is for Itopata. So, so far, Leviathan won against Americas, EMEA, and Pacific, but lost to China against Trace, and you guys playing EDG next. Uh, what are you going to do different so far to, to beat China and get a spot on the Grand Finals? I think, I think we need to see how EDG is playing, exactly, because in my opinion, they're a very different team compared to Trace. Uh, I don't think they, they have like similar play style, so I can't really put them in the same category, apart from they're from China, obviously. Um, so we just need to see how they're playing, adjust our play style, and, and win. <laughs> this, is, uh, this is how we were doing it so far, so I don't see any reason to, to change it or do it in, in any different way. Thank you very much, and good luck next game. Thank you. Uh, Calm, uh, if you'll humor me for a second. Um, you getting any texts from your former teammates uh, being as the last man standing? Anything interesting popping off in the group chat? Uh, I haven't gotten anything yet. I know Boosie would say, I hate that you're winning right now. Um, and then I think I'm sure I'm sure I'll get a little text from Jaw because him and I are still close. Um, but I know Jaw is coming here at some point, so I'll see him. But that's nothing much yet. Hopefully, hopefully everything good. <laughs> <laughs> nice. All right. Uh, we'll go to the next question from Andres from Prensa Esports. Hey, hi. My question goes to King. Like, hola, King, nuevamente. Eh, tengo mi pregunta. Van ahora tres Icebox seguidos que van ganando con overtime. Uno fue contra Team Vitality 14-12, el otro contra G2 14-6, y el otro contra ahora Team Eric 15-13. ¿Cómo han llegado? ¿Ustedes preparan estos overtimes? Tipo, si llegamos overtime, los vamos a jugar de esta manera. ¿Cómo no pierden, no llegan a perder el foco? Eh, ¿Y cómo se sigue manteniendo ronda tras ronda? Eh, bueno, la verdad es que eh, no, no, no tenemos ningún como, como game plan para overtime, por así decirlo. Eh, creo que simplemente somos un equipo que confía demasiado en nuestro Icebox y por, por justa razón creo que somos un equipo muy fuerte en Icebox y una vez llegado a overtime, creo que en ningún momento dudamos de nosotros, seguimos confiando en las cosas que están funcionando. Eh, y nada, sabemos que somos el mejor equipo y 
seguimos haciendo nuestro juego y creo que la, la razón por la que hemos ganado, aunque sean partidos apretados, hemos ganado los tres overtime. Thank you. Uh, and I believe this might be the last question of the conference. We'll go to Nerditude. Thank you so much. Um, uh, hi, I'm Antonio Sommer from Nerditude. My question is for Aspas. Aspas, is there any manga or manga you are going to be reading to prepare for the next match? Sadly, no, because I, I can't read on stage. So, sadly, I, no, but I'm reading the prep room before I go into stage. So, before going to stage, I'm always reading a manga. Today, I started a new one. It was like something I awoke as a battle god, something like that. Uh, it only has seven chapters, and I read all seven here in the prec room. So maybe for the next match, I will be reading a new one in the prec room. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you. We got a couple more that came in. Uh, Solera, if you'd like to ask the next question. <laughs> something fell over in the next room over. Someone fell. Died. <laughs> Nobody died. I, I bet. Hello, guys, and congrats with the win. Uh, my question is to Itapada. Since like Champions is like a marathon, uh, uh, I was curious about how you're pacing uh, the energy level of the team, and uh, you will have like five days. Um, how much of them will be the preparation? How much of them will be the rest? Uh, and are you gonna like prepare only to EDG or are you gonna look into other competitors as well? Thank you. I feel like if I say that we're gonna prepare for five days, I'm gonna get beat up after that. <laughs> <laughs> what's, your, what's your answer, buddy? What's your answer? Buddy? Answer wise. But it's very curious. <laughs> we're watching you. Yeah. No, I, I can't handle the pressure, guys. I'm not a player, I'm just a coach. Uh, but I think we're managing our, our energy by uh, honestly, I think we're working a lot less than other teams right now it's just um for, for us it's really important to have like good energy and good uh good focus which you know if you're screaming co consistently and we're having like five six screams a day here it's it's gonna mess you up at some point um and as for how we're gonna prepare for edg we're still gonna discuss this because obviously we're um we're a team we're, we still need to see like if, if everyone is if everyone is okay if every, if somebody feels a little bit more tired maybe we can have uh one or two days off Maybe I'm pretty sure you're gonna say that you're I'm tired. I'm so but... tired. Then. <laughs> uh, all of a sudden, I got <laughs> exhausted. <laughs> actually, I'm fading right now. <laughs> Guys, we didn't even play a third map in three games. Like, I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, feels like we didn't, but we had three overtime. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's big points. Yeah, that's... <laughs> so yeah, we're we still need to decide how we're gonna prepare exactly. But are you open to place the chair outside of the prep room? <laughs> yeah, we should. <laughs> If we might, uh, we might get the whole practice to ourselves. <laughs> Can we have a uh, massage chair outside of the practice? <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. Thank you so much, and good luck in the next round. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Thanks. Uh, we had a couple more come in. Um, Andres, you're up now. Uh, this is my last question, and it's for Com. How have you prepared yourself to be at the level you are now, being top fragger on some maps, saving rounds, and going from being the most great guy set? now being the most loved and praised um i think for me the way i prepared i mean i think this since stage two started i prepared like 10 times harder than i did probably previously honestly um but i i think genuinely i think it's just a difference in confidence in each other and, and in myself so to be honest there wasn't any like huge preparation difference it was just like Yeah, I'm just confident in myself. That's it. Thank you so much. And uh, all of you, good luck on your next match. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. And uh, Fernando, you will have the last question. Thank you very much. So this question goes for Tex. So Tex, uh, after America's finals, I asked you in the press conference if you thought you were the best Sentinel in the world. It's so far so good. Been a lot of good games. Top three on champions could be maybe a title. I want to ask you the same question. Do you think you're the best Sentinel in the world right now? And if you don't, who you think is ahead of you? I'm going to be humble. I would say um, I still have a lot to prove. Um, 
But I would say that I'm on the rise to become the best Sentinel. But maybe once I win champs, I can confidently say it. And who's better? Um, I really couldn't give you a name, to be honest. But, uh, yeah, just got to work hard. And if I win champs, I'll say it. Thank you very much. Good luck. Peace. Don't worry about that. Peace. See you. Leviathan, thank you so much for taking the time to speak with us tonight. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you.